What is something that you thought really important when you started trading but as you gained experience you realized that it is not that important? This is such an important question because most of the beginners tend to spend a lot hours of effort and time with respect to one single thing which they thought is really important. And recently I asked this question to myself and the first answer that came into my mind is trading strategy. Because as a beginner, I always tend to think that all these successful traders are having some secret trading strategy using which they are able to make money. So if I could spend my time and effort in finding that one holy grail strategy, then I can also become successful. But years later, almost 14, 15 years later, now I could I realize that it is not actually the trading strategy that is making money. So the actual reason behind these successful traders are not the trading strategy, it is the risk management principles these traders follow that is helping them to sustain long enough. Because in current market structure, it is much easier to find a trading strategy. You can find any number of trading strategies you know, in YouTube and other platforms. But the problem is not finding a profitable trading strategy, but finding a strategy that is suitable for you. Because when the particular trading strategy is not suitable for you, you will not be able to stick to it for a longer period of time. You tend to tweak it, you tend to change the parameters, you now try to change a lot many things into a trading strategy when it starts giving you some series of losses. So what is the ideal way to find which trading strategy is suitable for you? So the only way to find which trading strategy is suitable for you is by actually trading that specific trading strategy which you have shortlisted. But do not try to put all your capital in that trading strategy. Have some buffer period, at least have some 100 days of period and see if you are able to stick to the rules of the trading strategy. If you are getting the urge to exit the system or exit the overall stop loss or try to you know, have the system manual interference, if you do all these things, which means that you are not disciplined enough to that system. It is completely working against your trading psychology. That is why you are really struggling hard to trade that particular trading system. And the second reason is, it is not the actual loss or it is not the actual analysis going wrong from your side. It, what the problem is, the number of lots that you trade with respect to any kind of trading strategy will break the overall system if it is going against you. So that is why all the successful traders don't give too much importance to the trading strategy. They say, they see, okay, overall the strategy is profitable enough. Now all they have to do is plan a risk management principle. They plan a risk per trade. How much risk I should no, put in in each of the trade so that even if there is streaks of losses if i get i should be able to take the next trade so once this is defined clearly then the trading strategy becomes much smoother you would be able to stick to the system for a longer period of time i recently posted the same question in you know, twitter asking the experienced trader what they thought that is really important when they started trading then later they realized it is not that important and there were a lot many answers starting from winning accuracy, indicators, spending too much time on the TV channels. So a lot many, you know, opinions were shared. And out of that, many people shared one thing, which is being right. We always wanted to be right most of the time. Because making loss is really hard. Like, you no, know, the moment you book loss and then move on to the next trade and again, the next trade you tend to face loss. And again the next trade like three or four continuous back-to-back -back losses if you face fifth trade you will tend to have the doubt whether to take the trade or not this happens mainly because we hate to book loss we always want to make profits we always want to be right but consider this say suppose a soldier goes into a battlefield and he wants to come back from the battlefield once the battle is over without getting wounded is it really possible definitely not because there is a high chance that he might get killed also there is a high chance that he might get severely wounded and there is also a chance where he might get slightly wounded and come back from the battlefield once the battle is over so when a particular soldier gets into a battlefield his expectation is not to get killed that's all so that is how a trader should plan the moment he get, gets into a trade that particular trade should not blow him up out it should not no, take him away from the markets accordingly as to risk each and every trade plan his trade accordingly so that even if something goes against him in that trade he should be still there to survive enough to take the next trade so that is how you need to plan the one trade when it kills you you are totally out of the markets so we always tend to take this revenge trade okay i have lost so much of money in just one trade i want to get it back so we tend to risk a lot more money in just one trade to get back whatever the money that we have lost so this kind of mindset will totally kill you
at the end of the day what really matters is how much risk you can take in each and every trade only risk is in our hands returns is not in our hands so what you have to do is take any kind of trading strategies whatever the trading strategies you wanted to trade just to make sure if that particular trading strategy stop loss gets hit i do not want it to lose more than 1% or 2% of my capital accordingly decide how many number of lots that you can trade now apply this rule and take any trading strategy and do it for 100 days and by the end of 100 days you will know exactly no matter where the market goes you are going to lose only 1% or max to max 2% worst case scenario so if you overall protect your capital and accordingly trade each and every trade with respect to this no max risk per trade on your own capital that gives you enough time to consider whether that particular trading strategy is suitable for you or not over the no period no matter what kind of volatility market goes into you would still be able to stick to that system because that 1% loss is not going to kill you it is just going to be a small wound and still you will be there next day to take that next trade so this is what segregates the profitable trader or the successful traders from the non successful one they give utmost importance to this risk management principle that helps them to become successful in the long run so this is what i want to convey in this video i'll see you guys next week with another video bye